Hello everybody, Chris Prescott here with Master CDP Studios bringing you another tutorial inside Studio One. And in today's tutorial, what I wanted to do was show you how to remove pitch, bend, or modulation wheel events from a track after you've already recorded it. And let's say you're already too far into the song uh, to simply hit undo to remove those events. And you definitely are not feeling uh, removing that track and re-recording it without the events. Um, so I wanted to show you how to remove those events because I know when I first started off in Studio One last year, I didn't know how to remove those events. And, um, you know, I'm, do I'm doing a soundtrack for a friend of mine who's uh, developing a video game. And all the sound, the whole soundtrack, it's all, uh, I'm doing it all through a MIDI controller. You know, I'm, I'm recording all the instruments, MIDI, uh, virtual instruments, and I'm using my MIDI controller. I have a uh, Novation launch key, which has a pitch wheel and modulation wheel on it. And uh, that was the issue that I was coming up with or having, running into. And I'm sure there might be other people out there that are having that issue as well. You know, they're saying, well, shoot, I added some pitch wheel, um, some pitch bending to it. And I don't like it. And I want to remove it. And I want to leave the track as is without the pitch bending or the modulation. Um, so I wanted to show you how to remove that without having to go through, you know, un you know trying to undo it, simply hitting undo. And uh, of course, you know, we want to avoid having to re-record it if we don't have to. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. So first, we're going to record a track, a simple track, and I'm going to apply uh, pitch bending to the track as it's recording. So here we go. All right, so we added the pitch bending event, as you can see and hear on the track. All right, so you get the point. So how do we remove that pitch bend? Well, of course you could hit undo, but you know if you're recording it, uh, if you're adding or applying the pitch bend as you're recording the track, hitting undo is actually just going to remove the track altogether. Um, so you know we definitely want to avoid that, and you can also add it. Uh, you can you can record the track as is without adding the pitch bending event to it, and then you can go back and re-record the pitch event over the notes. Um, so that would be a way. That would be probably the only way that you can actually remove those events um, by hitting undo. But you know, like like I said earlier, let's say you're too far along in the song and you don't want to have to go back and delete the track or you don't want to have to rely on hitting undo because you might be too far along in the song to do that. So I'm going to show you how to remove this pitch bending event and it's simple. All you do is you go to edit. Down here you see velocity. This is the velocity of the notes. Modulation, pitch bend. And there you see the events right there. So all you're going to do, whoop, all you're going to do is highlight all those events or what event, whatever events you want to remove. Delete. Go back. Play that back for you. And there you have it. No more pitch bend event. So if you like this tutorial, if this helped you out, I hope it did. Um, hit the thumbs up on the video. Let me know in the comment section if you like this tutorial. If there's any other tutorials you'd like to see in Studio One. I'm always willing to pass along knowledge. Anything that I learn as I go. Um, and, you know, anything that I can... I, basically what I'm doing is I'm thinking of all the issues I had when I first started off uh, with audio engineering and using studio one so i go back to try to think of the issues i was having and uh any tutorials that i can make so i can help though any others out there that are having these issues as well um so you know i would like to pass along the knowledge as i you know i, I watch a lot of youtube videos as far as uh tutorials go um just in general and i know i've gained a lot of knowledge and um great great advice from watching those videos so you know i would like to also contribute and pass along any knowledge that I might have to help anyone else out. Um, so once again, you know, subscribe to the channel for more content. Stay tuned for more content and stick around for the $30 gift card giveaway I'm holding next week. Uh, next uh, September 6th is the deadline for the contest. You have to subscribe to my channel by September 6th. And uh, on that day, I will be uploading a video. Either I'll be live streaming my gameplay of Destiny 2, because that's what the gift card is for, celebrate the Destiny 2 release. I'll either live stream it, or I'll upload a video of my gameplay, of me playing Destiny 2, 
And on that video, re regardless if it's live streamed or if it's uh, recorded and uploaded later uh, during that day, you're going to comment on that video. So hopefully you have uh, the notifications on for my channel if you're subscribed already. If not, turn that notification on because I'm going to upload that video. And on that video, you will leave a comment saying, I subscribed. Leave your, subscription uh, your subscriptions list public so I can see that you subscribed to it. And then I will be randomizing it and selecting the winner. And I will have a podcast recorded and released the following week. And on that podcast, I will announce the winner. Um, so, you know, stick around. Stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, that's going to be the way you're, you're going to find out about all the updates on that contest. I need 50 subscribers to run the contest. So right now I'm about 38, 39 subscribers. So, you know, I just need a few more and I'll be able to run the contest. Um, so share this video or, you know, share the rules of the contest, at least with all your friends and uh, stick around for that. And stay tuned for more tutorials in Studio One. Once again, this is Chris Prescott with Master CDP Studios. Stick around.